morning. Okay, something a little bit different this morning. So, oh, well, not different, but me different. Something different from what I did yesterday. So, concealer. Straight in. I have already used my primer and done all of my beautiful bits that needed to be done. I'm a little bit less tired this morning, so my bags are a little bit less, which I think really helps with any form of application. So, Touch Mineral Concealer. <clears throat> Amazing! And I'm going to go in with my BB Cream. For those of you that know me, know that I like, because I have Roratia, I like to make sure that that is covered. Now, I would use a brush normally, as you all know, but this is Mummy on the Run. You know, my kids are downstairs going a bit nuts they've just had their breakfast so this is my teeny tiny little window now look at that already so much better so that's concealer BB cream remember I have already used my glorious use primer super duper important so touch your foundation I always use that tiny little bit more on my cheeks, but this really is not a lot, like... Okay, so brush. I'm just going to pat it around to evenly distribute it. And then we're stroking downwards. Across the face. And underneath. Don't forget your ears. Your face goes all the way back. Your face is not just this circle. So I'm really lightly just down, 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 pressing down. There we go. Now at this point, I like to go in for my second dose of, I mean, I use such a tiny, tiny amount of this stuff because um, you really don't need to be using a lot. But I use such a tiny amount that instead of putting a lot on, I just like to go in loosely and layers. And I think that's where my nail experience comes in, where you kind of, you're building consistently um not just a little bit so um i'm gonna go in with my beachfront bronzer hello beachfront bronzer this is hella good so little swell little tap suck in those cheeks you have your cheekbones here and then we want to be going up See, already I look thinner. Awesome. Who doesn't not want to look thinner? Well. Underneath. This is low level contouring, guys. You know, this is just getting it right. And I'm using such a little bit at a time. I mean, again, I like to build. I like to look, sit back, look, go, does this look all right? If not, add a little bit more. And I'm happy where we're at at the moment. So then I'm going to take my bigger brush. And it's my mineral time. So this is my mineral concealer. And then tap again. All over the brow. All over the other brow. See, you're looking a bit more human again. <sighs> Just love it. <laughs> Makes me feel so much better. Okay, let's go into those brows. So there's a different way of doing brows, which I'm going to show you this morning, to what I've done in my previous video, not generally, is a little unique. Oh, I've just got concealer all over that, but your unique brow pencil. So same theory, we're brushing all of those brows downward. Okay. Now we need 
need to twizzle the nozzle. Get a little bit of a thing there. And then always going from the arch first. And I'm just doing super light strokes. Now I'm just building some shape here. So I've just built all this in here with the pencil. Just filling in the part that I've brushed down. And the same on this side. Fill, fill, fill. Just all the bits. Now this is a bit of a softer brow than what I did in previous videos. So it's a bit soft, it's a bit nice. Well, not nicer, but it's a bit, a bit more natural. So now I'm just going through the whole brow, just stroking through, creating a shape. And we do light, medium and dark in this, so there is one to suit all. And you shouldn't be using a lot. I mean, I'm using a tip. Look at that teeny, teeny, tiny little nib there. And I'm really not, I'm not pressing. I'm just really lightly tapping across until there's some brows. Look at those, I have brows. And now I'm just gonna use a little brush on the end and brush through. Ta da Hello brows. So this morning I'm going for dainty. So this is a cream eyeshadow that goes powder. Now I'm going to apply this to the first inner part of my eye. I'm going to bring it up just above my crease. Okay, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. It's warm again this morning. I feel my face getting more hot. So, give it a bit of a, a brush. Okay, so you see? Not all the way across, just some of the way. Then I'm going in with my super duper brush, which is like your crease brush. So it does what it says on the tin. And I'm going in with Cheeky from Palette 3, because we love a bit of Cheeky. So these are much more purplier tones, because I'm going with my colouring as well, you know. I'm, I am red. I'm red by nature. So I have to make sure that um, I can't follow the palette. But again, there are no rules. Blend, 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 blend. Blending brush, blend, blend, blend. Blend until you cannot blend anymore. Until the blending itself becomes I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, sorry. But blend. Little circular movements going inward. Consistently. Okay, now because I've used a particularly dark shade, what I like to do, and again, this is personal preference, but what I like to do, is I like to go back in with a lighter colour, very light colour, and then I'm just going to blend this line through because again you know lines are bad we don't want lines we want everything to be so well blended now if you find that by doing that you have any sort of drop or any sort of dark marks around here a little bit of concealer it erases everything and then you'll be happy. Okay, so now I am looking for my pencil because I'm just gonna go in and darken the outer corners of my eye. 
So both outside and then in the waterline. Okay. Now, if that goes a little bit too much, you can just smudge it. Okay, that's a bit better. So you can see it's coming along nicely and we are 10 minutes in. I'm sweating. <laughs> so I'm using a brush just to calm it down a little bit because I don't want my blush, my bronzer to go anywhere. Okay, so now we're going in the, with the mascara. Who knew the UK could actually be warm? It's kind of humid, it's bizarre. So we go in with one eye and I'm always, always looking down when I do this. She says looking up for a second. Okay, so I like to do one eye because it needs to set for a few seconds before you put the fibres on. If you're finding it's going a bit cloggy, it's because you need it to just dry out a little bit. So then we've got our fibres. And I'm stroking upward because like with any sort of fibres, you're looking for length as well as thickness. Now, you can do this as many times as you want. You can do it to your heart's content, but I usually stick to one for the daytime, two for the evening. And then that way I know I'm happy. So then you're going back over with the gel again. And just sealing those fibres in. Got a bit of fibre drop going on there. Okay, so like I showed you before, so excuse <coughs> always when you've just done your mascara. So I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer to my lips. And then I'm not going to use a lip liner this morning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my black eyeliner and I'm really softly going to add a little dark outline. Okay, so that's just added a little bit of tone to my lips so I can go in with my lipstick. I'm in love with this lipstick at the moment. I'm going for such a 90s vibe. I absolutely adore it. So, hello. That's me. All done for the day. Check it out. Thank you very much. Bye.